thoughts heading in and, and how you guys kind of prepare for that? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, they're both two good quarterbacks. Um, obviously, 15 is going to throw the ball more. Uh, four likes to get in there and run it, and I'm um, with 48. So, um, you know, we have a good understanding about, you know, what's going to happen when you know, one of those quarterbacks in there. So, I mean, it's different, but they have a game plan for it. What do you have to do differently? How does it change your life when they swap those guys in now? I mean, just, you know, mentality definitely has to change. When four is in there, you know, become a run stopper. Because, um, like I said, they are heavy on the run when he's in there. And then when 15 comes in there, you know, really focus on pass drops and pass responsibilities. For you guys, um, do you like that style? Do you like, would, would you as a defensive player rather be facing a, a running team or, or do you like the spread offenses? I'd rather be facing a running team. Okay. Uh, yeah, it just fits my, I guess, my style better. So, I mean, is this a good matchup for you guys then, coming off of maybe two two tough outings for you guys to have maybe an offense that you're more comfortable to, to size up against? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I mean, um, you know, they're obviously physical, you know, because they are, you know, run first. Um, you know, so it'll get our guys back to being physical. I mean, we have to play physical against these guys. Um, and, you know, we need to get it back like we did the first five games. So, um, you know, we're all looking forward to it. Plus, you've had some success this year against running quarterbacks. Absolutely. Um, you know, the guys up front really do a good job with, you know, just let, letting us roam free and make plays. And, uh, and we, you know, we have had success, hopefully, you know, in carryover this week. How about your game individually? I mean, seven games in, you, you lead the team in tackles. Does that mean something to you, or is that something you strive for, or do you just not pay attention? Uh, I mean, it's definitely something I strive for, for sure. Um, you know, it's a big accomplishment to me, and, you know, I've worked extremely hard to get, you know, that, you know, to be the leader of the team in tackles. But, um, I mean, in the end, it's wins, wins and losses for me. I mean, we're three and four. Um, I could have 100 tackles right now, and we'd be three and four. It still wouldn't matter. Um, so really what matters to me is wins and losses, but you know, it, it is uh it is cool because I've been I've been working really hard to get you know where I'm at. And you do have a more prominent role this year. Uh, was that something specifically that you're striving for? Were you disappointed after last year at all or Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think the interview last week, you know, I told everybody that, you know, I wasn't very happy or pleased with my performance last year. And, um, I mean, just the way I went about everything, you know, the way I performed, uh, the way I took things and uh, really prepared for the games and everything, I just didn't do it to my best best of my ability. Um, so I've definitely strived for that. Um, so, you know, it's paying off. What's the chemistry been like uh, at linebacking core overall to, to this point? Uh, I mean, great. I mean, me and Nick are roommates, so obviously that's that's pretty cool. Um, and I've played with Doug ever since my freshman year. You know, he was a sophomore, and um, so it's it's been it's been pretty cool. Um, and the chemistry is great. We trust each other out there. I think that's a big thing. And we're more we're really comfortable around each other. And you know, I know if I fit here, I know Doug and Nick's gonna fit here. So it's good. Is that a unique competition uh, with Nick? The fact that you are roommates. Well, well, me and Nick don't play the same position, so um, you know I want him to do his best, and he wants me to do my best. So um, you know it's friendly competition, but you know we uh, we care about each other, so um, you know we're just rooting for each other. Safe to say you push each other, though. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I mean, if Nick does make more tackles than me, or I make more tackles than Nick, I, it gets to me. I'm sure it gets to him. Uh, but you know, like I said, we're, we root for each other, and um, it's uh, you know it just it only makes us better. One thing you said earlier was wanting to get it back to how it was those first five games. Yep. Have you seen, and not just you personally, but as a defense, seen the difference? What was the change in the last two compared to the first five? Was it something just because you were going against really good offenses, or was it something you guys were doing differently? I mean, you obviously have to take credit, give credit to the offenses we played. I mean, they're obviously you know really tough teams, and you know Baylor's what top ten now, and I think Texas Tech is as well. Um, so I mean, they're tough teams, but you know we just try to focus on us and. You know, I don't think the intensity was there the past two weeks like it, like it was the first five games. Um, so we, we just need to get back to the way we play. Um, I mean, we were hitting people. I mean, we were dominating a lot of scrimmage up front, and we just need to get back to that.